Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's sports. The Big Ben running Vikes extended their win streak to four games with a 111-81 victory over Wenatchee Valley College Saturday afternoon. Big Ben had little trouble with the visiting Knights as the running Vikes led 48-35 at the break and put up 63 second half points on the board to cruise to the lopsided win. Brendan Westendorf led four Big Ben players who scored in double figures with a game-high 32 points. Victor Agrera added 20, Kevin Walker had 17, and Sean McDonald finished with 15. The win puts the running Vikes at 2-0 in the NWAC East Region standings and 13-3 overall. A poor field sh goal shooting and 16 missed opportunities from behind the arc led to a 23-16 halftime deficit for the Lady Vikings. But coach Preston Wilkes got the team refocused during the break and Big Ben went on a 32-23 second half run to pull out a 48-46 come from behind win over Wenatchee. Riley Jamet set the pace for the Lady Vikings with a double-double of 16 points and 11 rebounds. Big Bend is back on the hardwood Friday for a road game at Blue Mountain College. Riley Pheasant knocked down 15 points. Jacob Laird recorded a double-double of 14 points and 11 rebounds, and the Afraid of Tigers pulled out a 64-50 comeback win over West Valley at home Friday. Efreda trailed 30-23 at intermission, but went on a 43-27 run in the second half to come away with the victory to improve to 5-2 in the CWAC standings. Three Lady Tigers scored in double figures, led by 16 from Sierra Woods, but it wasn't enough to hold off a determined Ram squad, and Efreda dropped the contest 54-50. The Tigers were unable to overcome a 36-25 halftime score and fell to 3-4 in the league standings. Kendall Sage added 12 points and Harley Vanetta had 11 in the loss. Efreda is back in action tomorrow night for a road game at Sela. The Soap Lake Eagles boys basketball team picked up two wins over the weekend to move to 9-1 on the season. Bo Nielsen hit for 15 points and Nick Capallo added 14 in a 48-31 win over the Columbia Basin Secondary School Phoenix Friday. Braden Winters had the hot hand as he pumped in 17 points in a 50-24 road win over Lyle Saturday. Capallo added 11 and Nielsen finished with 9 points. The Lady Eagles clobbered the Phoenix 63-15 but lost 40-29 to Lyle to fall to 4-5 in Central Washington 1B South Conference action. The Eagles host Waterville tomorrow night. Moses Lake Christian Academy dropped their road games to Inniat Friday. The Lady Lions were turned back by the Tigers 53-44 to fall to 3-1 in Central Washington 1B South play and 7-2 overall. The boys team lost 47-27 and is now 2-5 in non-league play and 1-1 one one in league action. The Lions are on the road at Wilson Creek tonight. The Moses Lake Girls Chiefs basketball team extended its street win streak to three games with back-to-back -back wins at home over Eisenhower and Wenatchee over the weekend. Moses Lake blew past the Cadets 80-41 Friday and then picked up a 51-38 win over the Panthers Saturday. The victories improves the Chiefs to 4-2 in the Columbia Basin Big Nine standings and moves Moses Lake within one game of first place Davis. The boys team split games over the weekend, beating Eisenhower 67-43 Friday and dropping Saturday's contest to Wenatchee 71-58. The Chiefs at 3-3 in the Big Nine Conference and just two games back of league leading Eastmont host the Wildcats Friday night. Moses Lake High School Wrestling picked up another impressive win against some of the state's top-ranked teams and a British Columbia All-Star squad at the Washington State Wrestling Federation Gut Check Challenge Tournament in Olympia Sunday. The Chiefs finished atop the 2016 field with 142 and a half points. Union, the number three ranked 4A team, finished second with 120. Moses Lake is back on the mat Thursday when the Chiefs host Wenatchee. I-501 Sports will be broadcasting the action live beginning at 7 p.m. Well, be sure and tune in tomorrow night for our live coverage of the Quincy Tenasket basketball game starting with the girls' contest at 6 p.m. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.